There is a material that has made an indispensable contribution to making people more mobile today than ever before. Steel. We find steel everywhere in our daily lives. No other material is so strong and yet so flexible. Steel. Steel manufacturing begins in the blast furnace. At this mill, more than 10,000 tons of hot metal are extracted from iron ore every day. The molten metal has a temperature of 1,500 degrees Celsius. In the 140 ovens at the Schwelgun coking plant in Duisburg, coal is converted into coke for blast furnace use. This coking operation is not only the world's most modern, but also the cleanest. The gases given off during production are a major element in the ThyssenKorp energy network. The plant turns out two and a half million tons of premium quality coke every year. Steel is not just a production material, but a valuable raw material too. That's why scrap is bought, sorted and recycled. And of course production residuals are handled in just the same way. Here, in the steel mill, the hot metal is turned into steel. The scrap added here actually fulfills two important functions. On the one hand, it's a raw material, but it's also used to control cooling, since molten iron will soon be poured into the preheated converter. In this unit, carbon, which would otherwise make the steel brittle, is removed from the hot metal. With the subsequent addition of alloying elements, the iron is converted into steels with varying properties. Once the steel has solidified, this machine divides it into blocks weighing several tons, called slabs. The slabs cool and then go into buffer storage. This mill produces high quality plate. The process starts by reheating the slab in a furnace. The steel has 1200 degrees Celsius when sent to the rolling mill. It reacts with the air, giving rise to a fine layer of scale. The slab is cleaned with water to keep this scale from being rolled in. The slab is passed back and forth through the rolling mill several times. The rolls exert a pressure of 8,500 tons on the slab, which is reduced by a few centimeters by each pass. The cooling process has a key influence on the steel's final properties. That's why the plates undergo controlled cooling after rolling. This depends on their ultimate use. The steel used in bridge construction needs very different properties to that used, for example, in shipbuilding. This state-of-the-art casting rolling mill was developed to manufacture high-grade carbon flat steel. The molten steel is guided into two 30-meter deep shafts where it solidifies and is cut into slabs, which are, however, considerably thinner than in conventional processes. The residual heat in the freshly cast slabs is used for direct further processing rather than first cooling and subsequently reheating them. This saves energy and money and is good for the environment. After casting, the slabs move into the tempering furnaces which keep them at exactly 1150 degrees. 
Then the steel is rolled directly. The combination of casting and rolling allows the steel strip to be produced with far greater precision. The system thus ensures excellent quality at high productivity. Here again, controlled cooling determines product properties. The steel is wound up into coils. The black sheet metal, covered with a layer of scale, is known as hot strip. In this condition, it enters the taco combined pickling line and tandem mill. The strip first passes through a 120 meter long pickling bath to remove the scale. The pickled strip then directly enters a six roll rolling mill where it's reduced to as little as a fifth of its original thickness. Accuracy down to a thousandth of a millimeter cannot be achieved while the strip is still red hot. That is why cold rolling is used here. The tandem mill comprises five emulsion cooled cold rolling stands in a row. The plant is fully automated. A single technician monitors the process. The rolled steel is constantly inspected and the line makes automatic adjustments. Neural networks enable the software to learn. The future belongs to combined systems such as the taco pickling line and tandem mill or the casting rolling mill since they guarantee sustainable high quality. The reason for multiple hot and cold rolling can be seen under the microscope. Steel has a crystalline microstructure. The individual crystals are known as grains. In hot rolled steel, the grains are still relatively large. They are stretched to an extreme degree during cold rolling. Subsequent annealing gives rise to new grains, whose nature, size and distribution can be exactly controlled. Multi-phase steels are one example of this. The white and brown areas are especially strong, the blue particles are soft, thus the steel is both strong and formable. A suitable steel can be produced for every application by influencing the microstructure. Intelligent steels change their properties as they are being worked. Here you see how softer white particles have been converted to hard brown particles during forming, resulting in a significant increase in strength. Thyssenkorp Stahl operates plants around the world where coated and uncoated steel sheet is prepared for manufacturing vehicle body components. But these plants deliver far more than just the production materials. Two steel sheets of differing thickness, quality and surface finish are laser welded together to form a tailored blank. This is the basis for weight optimized components. In the past, individual sheets were delivered. Then they had to be individually punched, stamped and welded at the automobile plant. Now the customer can process tailored blanks directly into finished components, like the door in a reinforcement shown here. The need today for cars to be made increasingly lighter with enhanced crash performance means that Thyssenkorp had to evolve from materials supplier to system supplier, a move it accomplished with great success. Time, money and weight are reduced while safety is enhanced and the potential steel offers has by no means yet been exhausted. Materials development now takes place in parallel with vehicle development. This approach is known as simultaneous engineering. We develop material concepts which are tailored ideally, not only to the final product, but also to the production conditions. Thyssenkorp put a great deal of work into a car body study which draws together all the innovative material concepts and manufacturing technologies available today. The result is the new steel body, it permits weight reductions of up to 24% while maintaining safety levels. All the technologies can be easily implemented by car manufacturers. This is the concept for tomorrow's automotive engineering. People are crafting the future here too. Steel reacts with moisture. To protect it against corrosion, researchers at Thyssenkorp Surface Center in Dortmund are working on special coatings. 
The technicians in this laboratory, for instance, are testing a self-cleaning coating which causes both water and grime to purl off its surface. But how can these new coatings be applied to the steel strip later during the production process? The Dortmund Surface Center operates a modular test system which is the only one of its kind in the world. Processes such as physical vapor deposition in which ultra-thin metallic layers are deposited on the strip in a vacuum can be examined here for viability. Surface coatings are a few micrometers in thickness. They can be examined in cross-section only by using an electron microscope. A layer of aluminium. A layer of zinc, the most widely used corrosion protection agent. In the coating plant at Dortmund, the cold rolled strip is passed through a bath of molten zinc. Since the zinc has to be heated to more than 400 degrees Celsius for this purpose, this process is referred to as hot dip galvanizing. The plant is one of the most modern in the world. 450,000 tons of flat steel, destined above all for the automotive and household appliance industries, are finished here to meet high demands on surface properties. A further specialty among Thyssenkorp Stahl's products is color-coated steel sheet. Not only is it extremely resistant to the elements, but it also permits entirely new color concepts in industrial construction. The Thyssenkorp steel mills demonstrate that industrial structures too can blend into the surroundings. Here, for example, in combination with solar collector panels. Thyssenkorp Stahl today offers a range which extends far beyond the material steel itself. System components tailored to customer specifications, environmental needs and the natural surroundings. Products and concepts for the future.